Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, but you can call me Taylee. If you're new here, then thank you so much for clicking on this video. Make sure you subscribe so you can always watch my videos. And if you're not new here and you're just coming to hang with me again, I appreciate the love. I appreciate you coming back and I hope you guys enjoy. It was so crazy doing my makeup behind camera again because boy, it's literally been a year. I don't think I did my makeup, recorded my makeup since February, 2020 and I didn't even post that. So it's been a long time but I feel good. I feel like it came out really good. I went through some new products that I bought, like the new Morphe Filter Focus or Filter Effect Foundation, um, the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. I got the Fenty Beauty Lip Cream. I got a whole bunch of new stuff and used some old stuff too. So without further ado, if you guys like this look or just want to sit and chat with me, Please continue watching. And again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all, I do not know why I'm so nervous, but I am. <laughs> Let's get right into it. I'm moisturized, face is cleansed. I'm moisturized, I have sunscreen on. I am using the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. It's the one that's glowy, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna prime with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I had been using the um, Hydro Grip Primer for so long, and then I just recently like picked this up again, and I was like, ooh, I love her. I remember her. how bad my brows need to be done it's a sight okay so next i'm going to go into foundation i have two of the morphe foundations this is the filter effect soft focus foundation medium to full coverage when i ordered these on um i ordered these from ulta the day they dropped i was going by the description of the color so golden undertone etc etc come to find out that this Filter Rich 26 is Makeup Shayla's color, so I'm already like, I know it's not gonna fit me. Um, so I'm hoping the Filter Deep 33 works, but I'm gonna take both of them out just so we can see. So quick first impression, the packaging is super nice and sleek. Love a pump, so that's exciting. This seems so dark and this just... <laughs> first is the 26. Girl. Ooh, good thing you can return things at Ulta because y'all see that? Mm -mm. That's better. We can do that. We'll see how it blends out and if it oxidizes and all that good stuff. At Ulta, when you purchase the foundation, you get a free gift. And the gift just so happens to be the brush that launched with this collection. It's the Morphe E63 brush. So I'm gonna use this. So Makeup Shayla pretty much used the brush to just rub it on her face. And I think she blended out with a beauty blender. So let me go wet my sponge. One more pump. That is not too bad. I did one more pump on each side and then on my neck. And she didn't do this, but I'm using the brush to kind of buff it in before I use my sponge. Using the Sonia Kashuk sponge, I still really love this sponge. That looks really good. I hope it looks good on camera because in person, we like her. This is good. So I feel like right now we're at the medium coverage mark, but you know your girl loves full. So 
one more little layer, but it doesn't feel heavy. So that's really good. I just did one big pump. So I'm gonna get my neck again. Right there is where I have some marks, dark, dark spots on my forehead and around the mouth. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I probably could have done like half a pump, honestly. Notice I'm not putting a ton right under my eye because when I put concealer on, I don't wanna have my under eye all caked up because that's how you get a lot of creasing. And look, I just washed this robe. I like that brush too. That is really nice. I like this so far. I hope it doesn't oxidize and turn me red. I will, I'll be upset. It's supposed to be a hydrating foundation. Um, let's see. Yeah, it says infused with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and glycerin. This long wearing, oil free, natural finish foundation hydrates skin and blurs imperfections for the ultimate soft focus look. So I know a lot of oily girls, when we hear hydrating, we're like, mm, we stay away. But I have found from loving this Too Faced Born This Way foundation that it's not necessarily a bad thing like your skin looks looks so radiant and more natural than the super matte foundations but you can set your makeup and stuff to make sure that it stays all day i really like this so far so far now we're gonna do eyes no i lied we're gonna do eyebrows and then eyes told y'all my eyebrows are a little jacked up so we're just gonna do what we can as good as it gets today I mean I don't know what else to tell you girl I don't know what else to tell you they look crazy so I also picked up another Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 430 because I finished my other one I can finally throw it away this is like a closer to my skin tone shade I also use 430 in the Fenty foundation I'm gonna clean up my brows and then I'm going to do eyeshadow. So I'm gonna put that same 430 shade on my eyelid. Y'all had to take the robe off because it was getting messy. Okay, so I'm going to try to stick to just the Jackie Ina palette, the collab with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this palette. I'm gonna take Ginger right here and kind of go all over with it, but like in the crease for sure. Is that even a description? <laughs> and I can tell y'all right now, this is gonna be a really simple, to the point I look, I just don't, that's all I got right now, okay? I'm going out of order than I normally would. We're just gonna run with it. I'm gonna go with Credit, this really dark brown plum type of color in the outer corner. Kind of dragging it halfway in, but still packing it in this outer corner. No, I haven't done eyeshadow in so long. Like, I think I did it once in 2020. Oh, twice. I did it in February for the balance video. And then I did it New Year's Eve. <laughs> oh, I'm going back in with the brush that we took our base color, Ginger. And I'm just going to start buffing that out. 
I say this all the time, this has not changed. We don't do harsh lines over here, baby. Next, I'm going to take, where is it? Pinker. And we're gonna squeeze her in here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, okay, she's going in our crease. And I did work backwards. Um, normally I'd put pinker down and then put credit the darker color. But you know, we gonna do what we gotta do to make it work. And that's that. So I'm dragging her all the way to this inner crease. And it's making this like really pretty purple color. It's either really pretty purple or it looks like I got punched in the eye. But on both sides. Again, going back in with a little bit of ginger and we're buffing. All right, for the lid shade, um, I'm going to first put down the NYX glitter primer. I'm gonna do one eye at a time. Cause I don't want to smoke. And I'm not necessarily using glitter, but I want the shimmer shade that I'm about to put on to have something to stick to. I'm gonna first use Zam. And then I might go over that with trust issues, but we'll see. Look how pretty this color is. Oh jeez. Going back in with the brush that we used pinker on. And I'm gonna hit the inner corner here. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, starting with the glitter primer. I like that, so simple. I'm about to add a wing, and the reason I do my wing before my concealer is because I like to use my concealer to clean up my wing. I first go in with the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner in black. I think this is the only color they have. Um, and I kind of use it as an outline for my wing, and then I pretty much fill it in with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in, it's black, I don't know if it has a name. That's as about as dramatic as my wings get. I'm really just like y'all. I'm not a pro at wings. I can do them better on other people than I can myself. We have our eyeliner on and this is why I save my concealer for after because So first I'm gonna go back in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer in 430. So for the Fenty Concealer, I don't let it set for too long because um, it will dry up on you. So since this concealer is more of, not exactly my skin tone with this foundation, but it's more of a skin tone foundation, I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of a lighter concealer to kind of highlight and lift. Going in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and I use the shade Butterscotch. Now this one is pretty bright for me, and I feel like with this foundation shade, it's gonna be super bright. And I'm really just going under my eye with it. For setting powder, I'm using the Fenty Pro Filter Banana Powder. I know it's a lot of Fenty, but I really like it. I'm 
I'm not gonna let this set forever. I am gonna go in the bronzer, um, <laughs> another Fenty product. I use Coco Naughty Bronzer by Fenty. And I go on my cheekbones. Bronzer is like my favorite part, so. Under my jawline. Along my hairline, but not too much because you don't want a bronzer helmet. I then take a tapered brush and I do my nose as well as this. Just a little in here. Make that pop. I bring my nose contour into my brow so it looks a little more natural. Just come straight down here. And get the tip. And right in here a little bit more. I'm also gonna use some black eyeliner on my waterline. This is the Sephora brand, waterproof, colorful, et cetera, et cetera, is black, okay? I think this trend has died off, but I'm sorry. I really, really do love a dark waterline. That's just me. All right. So now I would use a face powder to wipe everything away and make sure everything is like blended nicely. And I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation that I was so excited about and really want to try. I also got this in the shade 430. It is so freaking cute. It's a little compact. The mirror, two mirrors really. Since I already have a full face of like foundation and other makeup on, I'm going to be very light handed. This is what it looks like. And that does kind of look like my 430 shade. Um, but we're gonna be light-handed and see how it does, how we like it. Okay, looking smooth. Okay, so far, I like it. This is cute. Oh, she's matte matte too. But it's the kind of matte that will definitely like let my natural oils and stuff make me radiant throughout the day. <laughs> Honey. I'm brush my brows back into place. Do they even have a place? Taking the brush, the eyeshadow brush that I used Pinker in, and I'm going to lightly, lightly, lightly run that under my waterline. Again, this is just how I like to do my makeup. If you don't like all that under your waterline, I know the trend is a much lighter or skin tone um, eyeliner and stuff now. Do you, for real. I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlight. This is the Dosa Colors collab with Katie and Desi in Mirame. I probably said that so right, I'm sorry. And I've been just really light-handed with a highlighter. I don't know if y'all call this light-handed, but to me, compared to what I used to do, this is extremely light. I just exposed some pimples there. Those. And then whatever's left can just go on the sides. Nothing crazy. To tone it down even more, I'm gonna go on blush. That's one thing I wanna get. I wanna try a cream blush. People seem to love it. It looks really interesting from the videos I've watched, um, but I forgot, so next time. But this is a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek blush in Bardo. It's like this burnt red orange color. Nothing crazy. I always put a little blush on my nose. And that's it. So here's the thing. I would typically use my Morphe setting spray and my all-nighter, but they're all the way upstairs and I just can't express how I'm not walking 
all the way up the stairs for that right now. So we're gonna go old school. We're gonna take it back. We're gonna use the NYX matte finish. A oldie but goodie. Oh my God, I haven't used this in forever. Make sure she's still working. I like this. I really like the foundation. I feel like it blends, at least in person. I don't know what it looks like on camera. But in person, it blends perfectly into my neck, which is essential. It is sitting so well. Definitely looks filter. Like I have a filter on, definitely blurred some things. I really like it. I'm a fan. Let's do some lashes. Lashes. Yeah, since it's been a while, we're just gonna use my favorite lash ever. And that is Moscow Mule from Your Lash Bar. You guys already know. That's who this mirror is from as well. I'm also using my lash tool from your lash bar. This is perfect because when you put your lash on, you can press it down. And then I'm also using their glue. You can tell, this is me being real, how trifling this glue is, how much I love it. This glue is so good. I'm gonna let the glue get a little tacky. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. It is phenomenal. Um. But that's one big tip for your lashes. I know a lot of people ask me all the time, like they still can't put on lashes and I feel you. I struggled for so, so long. You have to let that glue get tacked. If you try to put it on there while the glue is still wet, it's gonna slide all over the place, get in your eye, mess up your makeup. I mean, your eyeshadow, like it's gonna be a mess. So let it dry a little bit. Another tip, take your mirror, put it underneath and look down. And lay that thing as close as you can. Use your tweezers or whatever kind of application tool. Get it on your lash line. Bingo. Ooh! I love a lash. I love a lash. I love a lash. I just love a lash. I'm going to put mascara now on my bottom lashes. I'm going to fan that a little bit so that it doesn't just bleed when I close my eyes. Moving on to lips. We're gonna line with MAC Chestnut. And the last thing I picked up. <laughs> The Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream Color Drip Lip Cream in Honey Waffles. Looks like this. I was so excited to get this, y'all. Ugh. Stop. 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 gonna put a little bit of this just to make it more pink this is the uh, the gloss that Natasha used on my wedding makeup my wedding day oh that's so cute what do you guys think all right let me go undo this hair and we'll take another look at the makeup okay babes here's the finished look what do we think this is actually about two hours later because I had to eat and do some stuff for work and take my hair out. Um, but it's looking so good. This foundation really wears so, so well, you guys. Like, this is amazing. I really, really love it. It's about to be my new obsession, new fave. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. I truly, truly, truly hope that you enjoyed it, learned something from it, or just enjoyed hearing me chat with y'all to myself. This is the first of many more tutorials and videos in general for my channel. So I really hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, make sure you do all the YouTube things. Like, comment, and subscribe for your girl. I love this. I can't wait to make some more videos. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.